Hello and welcome to the next video on my request list. Now this request was made by someone who has the highest master energy, a life path master 336, but with also a soul urge that's motivation and drive master 11. So the most important number on anybody's chart, as I always bleat on about, is your life path number, because that's the reason that you chose to incarnate on this planet. So all your experiences, all your challenges, the journey you've walked so far is all to prepare you to walk the path of the master 336. Now, you have a master energy on your core chart, core chart when you are an old soul. So this person is definitely an old soul. These numbers give me the impression that this person is a very old soul. And if they're a master life path 336, they're here to be a master communicator. But then just to match that, their soul urge, their motivation and drive wants to illuminate the world with a new message, with new ideas in order to bring healing and raise the earth's vibration. So these two numbers together work beautifully. One is all about communicating a message to the world to raise its vibration, whether you do it with your verbal, your written or your art, however you want to communicate whether you act, whether you sing, whatever you want to do as a master 336, your heart wants to illuminate the world with a new message. So that tells me that, at, that this number, whatever they communicate to the world, it's going to have a deep healing connotation to it because that's what drives them as a master 11 soul urge. So let's get down to what you're here to do what your soul drives you to do and then we're going to break down that master 336 into its elements to see where your heart will help your life purpose and where your heart may need a bit of a kick in order to get the motivation you need to do everything you need to do for your master 336 so let's get going. So when you're a life path master 336, your areas of development or your steps to achieve, thus your potential challenges in this lifetime are the fact that you're an old soul with a hard job to do. So when you're a master energy, you're an older soul. So you get given harder work to do, harder lives to lead. So when you're a master 336, you have, you're an old soul, so you've done many of these numbers before, lived many lives before, but this time you came with a task of double creative and emotional and double self-expression. So it's the three on steroids, basically. Double creative, double emotional expression and double heartfelt soul creative expression to the world in whatever way you want to do it, whatever medium you decide to do it in. You're here to develop your enhanced perception, your intuition and your ability to entertain and keep positive and lift people up emotionally. You're a master communicator or you're here to develop towards being a positive master communicator, a comedian, an actor, a speaker, a motivator, a writer, a, a world-renowned artist. You're a communicator that's here to heal and inspire and teach and entertain the world. You're, 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 you're here to change the world in some way because when you're a 33-6, you have a vision of the ideal of how you feel the world should be. And you want to change the world to be full of all your utopian ideals where everyone is taken care of. But you're also, you're also here to reconcile your ideals with reality because, you know, we can all want a utopia, but it's not always realistic in this world of light and dark that we came to in order to teach us. So you've got to understand that the world is just as it should be 
for humanity's continued evolution. And remember, it's an advanced life path and it should only be attempted by old and experienced souls like yourself. But your passion and motivation, this is your soul urge, Master 11. This is what drives you, what really gets you out of bed in the morning, is that you have a big life path, but you also have big dreams in order to support that big life path, which is really useful. So as a soul urge 11, you're here to learn to be a master communicator as a 33, but you have big dreams as an 11 to raise the vibration of the world. World. desires of an old soul that wants to share healing messages and ideas all over the world that supports your 33 6 you want to serve you want to help you want to be highly intuitive to assess the needs of others be empathetic perceptive and even use your psychic ability to help others you have a strong desire to express your unique creativity your supportive leadership and your interdependence so that you can work with others and use your ideas in order to bring positive change to this world you're motivated to be a channel for new transformative messages and ideals that you can use to teach and heal the world and th this passion that you have you have a path that needs to serve others and you have a heart that wants to serve others so it's extra important that you balance your responsibility to others with your own needs because if you're exhausted and sick you're not going to be able to heal anyone so it's not just about you healing others it's important that you also have boundaries for your own well-being now let's break down that master 33 6 and see how the soul urge 11 is going to cope with each element so you're a life path master 33 6 you're an old soul you're here to spiritually channel ideas and then communicate those ideals the those ideas to the world in whatever medium you decide to communicate in and then manifest and express those ideas in order to raise the world's vibration. Sorry, I'm about to sneeze. Sorry about that, everyone. I didn't want my sneeze going down the microphone. <laughs> so you're here to learn to be a master communicator, to teach, to inspire, to entertain, to emotionally nurture others in a big way in order to raise their vibration and fundamentally make the world a better place. But you've also got to learn to handle the energy of this huge responsibility. You've got a, a big responsibility not only to channel massive, big, unmanifested ideas, but then communicate those ideas to world audiences. And it's a powerful energy to have as your purpose in this lifetime. So you can either use that energy and do too much and exhaust yourself and end up full of anxiety, or you could learn to handle this energy with spiritual practice, using your creativity, exercise by managing your responsibility to others and making sure you don't do too much because remember you've got a double service service number that takes up 60 percent of your core chart so you've got to have boundaries and we're going to talk more about that in a while your master 11 motivation energy means that you have huge dreams to raise the world's vibration and you want to channel and then bravely express your unique message to heal and change the world. And that, if not anything else, is going to help support your purpose to be a master communicator. You choose to engage in daily spiritual practice, creativity, um, and, and things to channel your energy to help you handle and focus your master energy into expression for positive change. You like to exercise balanced responsibility with healthy boundaries, which again, as I repeat, is vital for your own well-being. 
So to support that life path, Master 336, manage your master energy into communicating your unique message to nurture. You can channel it into exercise. You can channel it into your creative exploits and your, your, your artwork or your writing, or you can channel it through your spiritual practice, which is a really useful thing to do. But manage that master energy into being able to communicate your unique and world-changing message to nurture, inspire, inform and entertain the world. And I mean world audiences, but with those healthy boundaries for your rest and well-being, because it's a high energy um, path that you're on and it's going to exhaust you if you're not careful, if you're not taking that rest that you need. You're here to learn to express yourself verbally to inspire, inform and delight audiences. But threes and double threes often start life by struggling in some way verbally. It's either chronic shyness or not having the right words to say, maybe struggling to find the words you need to say. It could be speech delay. It could even be speech impediments like lisps or stutters or a language barrier, like you may have been brought over from another country young and you had to deal with all these people speaking gibberish. Um, you know, it's a language barrier in some way. And as a double three, six, master 33, six, those difficulties could be enhanced, especially when you start as a young and through childhood. So you're here to learn to verbally express yourself confidently and clearly to inform, inspire and delight. But your master 11 drive and motivation provides you with the heart and pride in your uniqueness. You're, 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 you're proud of your uniqueness when you're a master 11 and you love to see it as a gift and you feel driven to express your unique message verbally and confidently for positive change to the world so your heart is really driven to express yourself verbally so depending on what your talent number is and how much you've developed so far in your life support your life path master 336 by learning to verbally express yourself with authentic emotional expression like an actor like a passionate teacher in order to teach and inspire your audience because that's what a master 33 6 is all about to change the world with their passionate communication they're here to learn to express themselves master 33s creatively you know they channel brand new ideas and they do things in a way that nobody else has done that's what you're here to do to inspire and inform and delight your audience in your own unique way but of course you're here to be creative. So threes and double threes always tell themselves, well, I'm not creative, you know, um, you know, I, I, I'm not creative. So what on earth would I create? Or when they do create, they procrastinate and then they struggle to finish any creative projects they start because it's lack of self-belief. They think maybe I'll ruin it or, you know, when I finish it, it means it's done and people will give me feedback on it. So if I don't finish it, people can't tell me it's rubbish. And, you know, that's the three avoiding um, other people's opinions and worrying about other people's opinions when you know they're creatives they're not here to fit into any kind of slot you're here to bring change and there's going to be people that love what you do and people that don't and the people that don't who cares you know and the people that get annoyed that's a great thing because it means you're hitting their comfort zone and you're bringing them a brand new idea and a message and that's what you're here to do and it's what your heart drives you to do at the end of the day so your master 11 motivation energy drives you to want to be unique and creative how cool is that so you like to channel creative, groundbreaking messages and ideas, and then you love to express them through your speech and your action and your artistry, which again is a great help to someone who's here to be a master 33-6, because their heart is driven towards wanting to do that. The only potential snag is, what are your talent numbers? We don't know. That's something for you to look at in another video. But you know, as I said, talent in 
passions and that it's all malleable you know if you don't have the talent yet you can pr practice the talent if you have any struggles you can practice and you can get better you know nothing is fixed in this world so anyway support your life path master 336 by expressing your creative passions and then using your creative passions to to enthusiastically entertain teach and inspire humanity as a whole you've got to learn to be dynamic take risks and be confident to enjoy the attention and the limelight of an audience and because you're here to do that you you can be shy you can be underconfident you can be unable to take risks especially if you struggle to find the right, right words, especially if you don't feel verbally confident. It can make you hold yourself back. It can make you stay safe when you're here to literally get out there, be dynamic, take up opportunities, take intuitive and calculated, not silly risks and be confident enough to stand in front of an audience and show them your passion, your creativity. That's what you're here to do. And that's not going to be easy for you to do. But your master 11 motivation energy means that you're happy to be the center of attention. And now that is great because there's a lot of people that really, really hate that. So it's something that is good for you to have. You're quite happy to be the center of attention, quite happy in front of an audience. You quite like being dynamic. You quite like taking intuitive risks because it's it ensures that your message is shared for world change so again your soul urge master 11 is going to be a useful companion to you to help you uh, do this element of your master 336 so support your life path master 336 by taking those intuitive not silly intuitive risks to communicate and doing it bravely confidently and when you do it confidently you'll do it charismatically and then global audiences will listen you need to develop as an entrepreneur you're here to do big things big things often don't fit into jobs into certain boxes master energies end up being the box smasher or the, the new box creator because you need as a master 336 to develop more as an entrepreneur who can, can promote network and make money with their creativity because again you wouldn't put a master energy into society's pre-done boxes because what does society know about anything you know we have very little knowledge in humanity and a huge vasts of data information and wisdom that we don't know and the master 336 and 11s and 22s alike are the ones that are still trying to tap into that energy in order to bring something new and to do that you often have to develop as an entrepreneur and that again is not going to be easy because it's part of your life purpose to do but your heart and drive in the master 11 means that your desire to change the world is going to drive you to achieve in business because when there's no cookie cutter way then you've got to create your own way your own unique way and the 11 is down with that you love to be creative you love to be social and share your ideas but you you do prefer people you already know and trust and you can be a bit nervous and shy with wider audiences because 11s as much as they're brave and confident they're also quite sensitive souls and they're always reading the room around them so they do actually prefer soul urge 11s to be around people they know and love and trust family and friends that they already feel akin to is more what they prefer so for this 33 you need really to learn to be able to communicate and socialize with wider audiences as well but I'm digressing we need to get to that so support your life path master 336 by first of all before I digress developing as an entrepreneur in your own right because you're not a cookie cutter in a cookie cutter job and then learning to network with maybe unfamiliar people that's where I pulled that in 
network with you know business associates other people that could be clients people that you might work with on creative projects so that you can make money with your new creative and unique new and creative communication so entrepreneurial abilities is quite important when you know you're here to be someone to bring something new you're here also because 11s and 33s they're here to learn to be masters of emotion that's managing their own emotions and then being able to detect and understand their own emotions then the emotions of others and understand how the how their behavior as a 33 how their emotions affects the emotions of others what their triggers are basically they're here to learn the ins and outs of their own emotions and how that they can control the emotions of others so you're here as a master 336 to learn first of all to express your emotions positively and then learn analyze your own emotions um, analyze your triggers why do you feel and behave in certain ways what could that be linked back to and then learning to read other people's emotions and then fundamentally being able to lift your audience's emotions see it read it learn it improve it when it comes to emotions is all about the 33 6 so you're here to learn to fundamentally express your emotions positively so that you can lift the emotions of those around you because you understand if someone speaks to you or communicates to you in a monotone boring voice you're not going to listen to the words they communicate even if it's full of wisdom because you get bored so the 33 is here to express their words passionately whether they do it in written form verbal form or with their artwork express it passionately and positively and of course because they're here to manage their emotions in such a way threes and 33s especially can be extremely sensitive to criticism especially criticism from others and they can be a sponge for other people's emotions. So they could be in a room full of people and be absorbing everyone's emotions in the room. And if they haven't learned to manage that, that can be quite difficult and it could be quite overwhelming. And it can actually cause a, a three to either or 33 to either hold in their emotions until they explode and they will explode into a huge emotional outburst so it's important that they learn to analyze their emotional reactions and then channel those emotions outwards as positively but also authentically as possible never holding in emotions and always analyzing any difficult emotions that you come you know uh, com that comes in your way that's how to really develop the emotional side of the master 33 6 but you're a master 11 heart and motivation energy and it means you don't really enjoy any form of conflict or unrest you're a sensitive soul you prefer to mediate so 11s will always try because they want to to they want a, a peaceful and calm life they'll always try to appease and mediate and maybe even shape shift to other people's needs and then they choose to hide their real emotions from others and always focus on the emotions of others which again especially over time can be quite damaging for a person to be putting everyone's emotions before their own all the time and not being authentic and when you're not authentic one day it's all going to come out in a big emotional scream out outburst and that's not how you want it to come out and it probably has come out that way in the past but of course that's all part of your journey so support your life path master 33 6 by becoming aware of your emotions i mean allowing yourself to be and then analyze your emotional reactions acknowledge how you reacted whether it was positive negative or on the medium whether you cared or not and the more you analyze your reactions to things the more you'll recognize your values your feelings and your triggers and the more you'll you'll understand your emotions and learn to 
um, work with them rather than be controlled by them. So then you can find a more positive and more authentic way to authentically express ways to understand and and express your emotions and sensitivities and help you to understand the emotions of others so that is there's a big job to do here when it comes to emotions becoming aware of yours analyzing them understanding why they're here what your triggers are and what you need or could do about that and then analyzing and changing the emotions of others that's important for you as a master 33 6 because you're here to develop because you're here to do only action matters you're here to develop the habit of acting being a doer and an exerciser of ideas so that means that when you're low or a lot of the time you might dream about doing things you might channel ideas you might imagine it but that doesn't mean you find it easy to do it as a master 33 6 you can struggle with low confidence apathy even laziness and lack of focus and direction can be an issue for you because the double three is creative and scattered and finds it hard to focus on any one thing so you've got to develop towards as a master 33 6 being able to execute and act on your ideas and not procrastinate or lose interest or you know or you know not finish your creative projects but as a master 11 motivation energy it means that you want to channel you want to initiate action you want to plan and you want to exercise new ideas and messages again your heart can really drive your action here but your love of novelty is an 11, which can be a bit of a stumbling block because it's hard to focus on one thing when you love new things. Your love of novelty means that you can get bored quite quickly and choose to move on to more new ideas over wanting to progress previous ones because it's new exciting to look at the new it's really exciting so it can often your heart can sometimes stop you from focusing enough on ideas you've already had in order to bring it to expression because you want to move on to the new you're an 11 you're always thinking and looking at new ideas and new wisdom and it can make it hard for you to want to stay focused on a previous idea through the planning and through the boredom of the detail. Even the expression side is going to be difficult because that's what you're here to do. So support your life path master 336 by ensuring and this isn't going to be easy that you stay focused on your ideas and messages so that you can not only initiate but you can plan and then act on your ideas so that you actually do manifest positive change with your ideas rather than the ideas staying up in your noodle floating around and of course like I said earlier you're here to learn to be social talkative the life of the party the bringer of fun and positivity you need to be a confident socially communicate com a socially confident networker and communicator um, spreading an emotional message but because you're here to be social and confident and talkative and the life of the party and the bringer of fun and positivity you can literally be quiet and struggle to speak you might even have social anxiety in social in social situations where there's lots of new people and you can end up being the one that is sitting back and watching everybody else communicate rather than getting involved in the communication yourself and being more the center of attention which is what you're here to learn to be but your master 11 motivation means that you do actually prefer to connect one to one. So uh, it's like a deep trusting connection the 11 likes to have. You want to connect with others quietly. You want to heal others quietly. So this can exacerbate your difficulties with being a social animal being out there meeting new people being the life of the party and the, the the social confident person because your soul urge your heart doesn't really want to do that but what i'm telling you now should help motivate you to start 
pushing yourself and developing yourself towards being in bigger groups, being able and confident enough to communicate to wider audiences. And the best way you're going to learn to do that is to get out there and do it. Try some social events where you've got to meet new people. Make an effort to use your potential to communicate more positively and passionately to those around you. And it's going to take time to develop that, but take that time to do it because you need to support your life path number by being more socially confident, more fun-loving, devil-may-care, communicating, Working, inspiring people with your passion and your and your love for what you do, informing, teaching, and entertaining wider audiences. Now, this isn't going to be easy for you, motivation-wise or purpose-wise, but it's a big element for you to work on. That is your life purpose. You're here to develop your independence towards interdependence. Now, threes can often struggle with being independent. They can, they like to be look at, looked after, to be perfectly honest. Threes like to be looked after and double threes have double the difficulty with liking to be looked after and they can be prone to avoiding work and definitely avoiding routine commitment. So again, this is another reason why a 33 or a three, to be honest, would struggle in any normal employment where you have to work to a routine because threes just want to be creative. Threes just want to go off and do their own thing. And sometimes this doesn't always earn money and it can make them dependent if they don't get out there into the world, which is what they often may avoid doing because they're a master 33 six and they're here to do their own thing. So you're a master 11 motivation. It means that you prefer to do things for yourself. So you've got a um, you, you're going to swing between the two fundamentally. So your purpose says that you love to be dependent. And then your heart says, actually, you want to do things by yourself. So you want to help others and be the helper of others and do what you need to do yourself. And then you've got your difficulties with dependence. So you're going to swing between and you're going to hate that dependence and independence at times and you need to balance it so you can become more interdependent giving and receiving in equal measure but you may choose not to ask for help in return whilst others are dependent on you and this can really get in the way of the giving and receiving in equal measure bit of your purpose so support your life path master 336 by remembering that we are all one we're not separate beings we're all connected and we are independent when you throw a pebble into that water it ripples out to the whole what you do and say to the whole ripples out to the whole okay and even on a micro level if you upset someone they will go off upset and then they might be nasty to somebody else who then upsets another person who then is um, upset then who upsets another person and it can ripple outwards so remember that we're all one connected and interdependent so we need to help in equal measure to keep those ripples balanced give and receive in equal measure so that's not being too dependent and that's not being overly independent either that is important you're here to be opportunistic, to network, to make useful connections, which again, if you struggle socially and you don't want to be out there socially, this isn't going to be an easy one for you. But again, it's something for you, it's a challenge for you to get past because you're here to learn to confidently snap up opportunities to spread the world, word, express ideas and projects. But of course, as I've said, you're extremely shy and you may even totally avoid social contact however you're a soul urge master 11 and that means that you love to make deep connections and build deep intuitive relationships however you're less keen on large gatherings of people you don't already know and trust as you know so support your life path master 336 by managing your shyness 
And this is the social thing. It sort of feeds into what is said about your social skills, like managing your shyness, being more intuit intuitive so it can inform you about people to help you to make useful, intuitive connections with those that you might not already know, thus expanding your opportunities to spread your inspiring message to a wider audience because that is what you're here to do you've got to learn to take responsibility when you're here to communicate with the world you've got to be responsible with that information ideas can be dangerous if you spread them and share them irresponsibly you've got to think before you act think before you speak and as well take full responsibility for what you say or do or what you communicate because like i said Somebody could listen to someone or read a book or a pamphlet and it can completely change their opinion and make them act in a totally different way. So it's important that what you drive people to do with your communication is responsible and that you always listen to guidance from others as well before you spread certain messages to ensure that it's responsible and no one's going to get harmed or disillusioned or, you know, completely um, messed up totally by your message. OK, it's got to be done responsibly. OK, your master 11 motivation energy means that you choose to be you choose to be focused on the well-being of others. So thus responsible for your action. You know, you're not going to do you, you don't want to do or say anything that's going to potentially hurt anyone else. So your heart really supports your 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 responsibility to not hurt others and to make sure that your expression is actually healing and not damaging. So to support your life path master 336 act on your drive to always behave responsibly by staying close to spirit and your intuition and acting on your intuitive spiritual wisdom to assist you to communicate to the world in a responsible and high vibration vibrational manner because you're also here to be a visionary of the ideal now that's someone that sees and hopes the world would be a better place they dream of a utopian world where you know the world is a better place and you just all about wanting to create a better world with your ideals when you're a master 336 so you want to communicate not only to to inspire and inform and delight but also to improve the lives of others in some way but because you're here to do that you might struggle with your visions you might think oh why isn't the world a better place you might be why aren't i a better person so you might be judgmental of yourself you might judge other people you might feel judgmental and disappointed with the world for not meeting your unreachable ideas and this can make you really disappointed not only with yourself those around you but disappointed with the world you know lamenting things like why is the world so dark and this can even drive you at your worst to nefarious and counterintuitive action from you because you're so disappointed with how the world is and that can be quite a big difficulty for some master 336s but your master 11 heart and motivation means that you're driven to want to change to improve the world to raise its collective vibration so you know in your heart as a master 11 that if there was nothing to change if there was nothing to heal then what would you do with your life Le 11s love to bring change they love to improve so if the world was utopian already there would be no change there would be no healing needed so whenever you're feeling oh why is the world so dark think to yourself soul urge master 11 you want to heal others so the world's got to be a bit dark in order for you to be able to heal and help others and you've also got to remember that the world is light and dark for a reason to teach us to develop us and to evolve us as souls you know 
The world, if it was a utopia, would teach us nothing. If you want to learn about love, you've got to see the horrors of hate. If you need to learn about selflessness, you've got to experience or maybe maybe even be selfish in order to understand what it's like to be selfless. So the world needs to be how it is. It's like a school for our learning and development. So don't be judgmental of yourself. You're a work in progress. You know, that's the message that the, the 33 6 needs to learn. So the Master 11 motivation means that you are actually driven to want to make that change, which is really helpful. However, your passionate idealism, as well as an 11, can make you a dreamer sometimes of unworkable and unfeasible ideals. So that can make you sometimes have dreams and expectations that, that anyone can see are unfeasible and unworkable and you don't want those ideas feeding any negative action from you. Remember, the world is meant to be light and dark for a reason and it's because we all are not perfect yet, so don't judge yourself. We're all here to learn by experience in order to become more perfect with every lifetime. So support, support your life path, Master 33 six by creating a strong vision of your utopian ideal that's totally fine with analysis and understanding on which of your ideals are feasible and achievable so you could use your master communication to help improve the world in some way but it's got to be with ideas that are feasible and workable and achievable and you've got to do that without judgment to yourself others and the world you're here to not use your ideals as a benchmark for your happiness it's that disappointment thing that i was on about because 33 sixes and sixes actually can often judge themselves and they they judge themselves for not for hitting their level of perfection and they've literally most of the time set the bar too high anyway and set themselves up to fail so you often judge yourself and others for not hitting your idea of perfection that was far too high for you to hit anyway and this causes you great unhappiness. I mean, you can have situations where things you've done have been a great success and people are congratulate you. And then all you can focus on is on the things you think could have been better. And it actually makes you feel bad that you didn't do it perfectly. And it's important that you're not basing your happiness on perfections and benchmarks that not only cannot be hit but benchmarks that aren't meant to be hit yet remember we're a working progress we're not perfect already so perfectionism and benchmarks it's all if you allow that to affect your emotions then you need to take steps to change that because it's important for you. Your master 11 motivation energy may exacerbate this tendency because you're idealistic in your heart and you want to bring change to the world. You might choose to pin your happiness on the achievement of your utopian ideals and even feel unhappiness at their non-achievement, which can be a bit of a difficulty. So it's important that you support your life path, Master 336, by seeing life as the journey that it is. It's a journey of evolution, getting it wrong, learning and getting it right. It's, it's like going to school. Think of the world as a school of experience. And it's important that you just allow yourself to learn your lessons in life. And you'll eventually see that perfections are in the eye of the beholder anyway. And there's many, many routes to many, many types of perfection. It's all too complex for us to really understand. So support your life path, Master 336, by seeing life as a journey of evolution, getting it wrong, learning to get it right, and not pinning your happiness to unreachable ideals. ideals. It's futile and it won't help you. You know, your heart wants to heal others. If we were already healed, then what would be the flipping point? you know <laughs> so don't pin your happiness on unreachable ideals it's futile and it's not good for you anyway because if there's no one to heal you won't be happy anyway so it's the learning on your journey towards perfection that matters not the result
okay that's important and you're here to then reconcile your ideals with practical reality for that reason you've got to accept that the universe or source energy is everything existing in perfect balance of light and dark to fully experience love you've got to experience hate like i said before it's important that we're not thinking that the world has to be perfect because if it was it'd be bloody useless to us for our learning in evil in development and evolution if the world was a utopia there'd be no point in us incarnating on earth okay so the difficulties we go through the challenges we go through even those in third world countries they've literally chosen to walk that path because they have lessons to learn within that so try not to feel too down and out by people that are less fortunate than you because they have literally chosen this path because they have big lessons to learn so try not try to focus on your path of helping others in your way on your life path and accept that the universe is everything it is for a reason for learning for development and for lesson learning so it's important that you reconcile your ideals in the world with that practical reality with our level of development right now so your master 11 motivation energy makes you interested in learning wisdom deep wisdom beyond the veil wisdom on the true nature of the universe that it is in that it is is that balance of light and dark for our learning and evolution elevens are spiritual they're likely to have already delved you know because they love it they're, they're likely to have already delved into this wisdom and information about the world being as it is for a reason and that it's a school of learning that's what soul age elevens love to dig their heart into so you can then support your life path master 33 6 by learning to filter any utopian dreams that you may have via source and your sharp intuitive wisdom to assess it for its feasibility at this time you've got to learn and know the feasibility of your ideal so that you're not pushing or getting upset about something that is unreachable anyway um and assess the feasibility of your ideals and your ideas before you act or develop those expectations and even then remember we're, we're here to develop not here to be perfect because we're not perfect so, and here we get to the perfectionism part of it perfectionism can make you an overachiever it can push you too hard it can make you check and double check things it can make you judge yourself it can make you not show things to people it can make you hide things it can make you go oh no it's not perfect and until i get it perfect it's not happening and then you can hold back all this wisdom and information and creativity because you're just so perfectionistic it's never good enough for you so you know you feel it won't be good enough to others and you never meet your own standards and you've got to learn to calm yourself and trust your creativity see the big picture what you're here to do with your life and not get stuck in the petty perfectionistic detail because creativity isn't meant to be perfectionistic it's meant to be from the heart it's meant to be chaotic but you often judge small imperfections and ruin and miss your successes and stamp all over your creativity when you're perfectionistic so it's important that you need to get through that perfectionistic streak from what I've said before and what I'm saying now. So your master 11 motivation energy means that you are driven to be perfectionistic. So, but you do prefer the big picture spirituality. So you've got a bit of both here rather than being detail focused. So you're unlikely to want to get stuck in too much petty detail because your heart is really big picture. But you do have your heart tendency to be over perfectionistic and, and keep touching things up or hold things back at times because you are idealistic in your heart as well as in your purpose as well so learn to support your life path by allowing yourself to make those mistakes and learning remember we're on a path of learning and development we're not perfect yet keep in your keep in mind your big picture notice how far you've come even if you don't think it's perfect 
Notice how far you've come in your learning and remember life is a journey of trial and error in order for you to evolve your soul. The more you keep that mantra in mind, the less you will judge yourself and the more you will accept the learning that we're all here to do. You're here to learn to be a nurturer, compassionate, caring, giving, especially to those that are vulnerable or struggling within your close relationships, your community, and of course, you're a master energy, the wider world. So I guess you're going to start at home and move outwards to the community and the wider world with your nurturing because you're here to be a master communicator to the world and your nurture and care and give to the world through your communication but of course because you're here to be compassionate and give to the world and the people around you and help those that are vulnerable or struggling within your relationships and community when you're very low you might actually not do that and at worst you could actually be quite neglectful now that is a very low level six I'm not saying you're neglectful calm down but it can tip to those levels, as you may have seen in the world and seen in the news. There are people that can tip to this low level of neglect. Um, but I'm not saying that's you, but it is potentially there. So you're here to learn to nurture, compassionate, caring, giving, but not so much that you meddle in their lives and overtake their lives. That's important, too. So your Master 11 motivation energy means that you want to be compassionate. You love people, you love family, you love your community, you love teams, you love those that are close to you. You try to be compassionate and empathetic and perceptive and sensitive to the needs of others because you're the person that that is spoken to by the group. People confide in you. So you're always listening to others and that's good for you because you want to be a healer, you want to be a nurturer, you want to help people and advise people. So you can support your life path master 33 six by compassionately caring for others and continuing to do so, especially those that need it most in your community and then eventually, well, your family community and then eventually the wider world. So you're literally here to nurture and care for as many people as possible, but with boundaries, of course, because you have to have boundaries to ensure your mental and physical health. You do a lot for others. You've got a double service number here. 40% of your chart is life path and the other uh, 30 is soul urge or whatever. So there's a big percentage of your core chart in numerology that is a master energy so you're going to feel compelled to do a lot for others sometimes too much which can make you feel undervalued underappreciated resentful and sick with exhaustion really so you need to have boundaries to what you do for others because you're here with a big thing to do with your life you've got to uh, communicate and write and verbalize and inspire people in the world so you can't be using all your time helping other people all the time because you've got a big job to achieve in this world too so you've got to have boundaries to ensure your mental and physical health and to ensure that you can actually walk your own path in this lifetime your master 11 motivation energy means that you are driven to be service orientated, healing and compassionate. So this can exacerbate your tendency maybe to do too much for other people. But you also do want to try and create clear boundaries to stop you from doing too much. So the desire is there for you to have those boundaries in place. So it's important that you actually use those boundaries and take up on those boundaries and don't shape shift for other people so support your life path master 33 6 by ensuring that you develop and enforce healthy boundaries to protect yourself from exhaustion and to stop you from meddling and stepping on the path of others because people have got to learn their own lessons in life Developing those social skills. We talked about that when I talked about the double through, double three. You've got double the need within your path to develop your social skills, be more of the team player, be more socially confident. And it was there for the double three and it's here now in the six. You've got to break through low self-esteem to be more socially confident, talkative, fun loving and relaxed around others. And, you know, you can do that a bit at a time. Just get out there socially socially. 
and learn to be more socially confident, intuitively read others and don't feel that you need to be validated by others because you don't. Just express who you are and if it doesn't resonate with them, move on to the next. That's what you should do as a Master 33-6. Your Master 11 motivation energy makes you a driven team player. You like to socialise and you like to be liked, which is a good thing. You like keeping the team and the group and the family harmonious. It's all very important to you that the people around you are harmonious and everybody's happy. So you can support your Life Path Master 33-6 by being and developing towards a more relaxed, fun-loving, socially confident, effective and harmonious member of any team, group or family. You're here also to create a stable, nurturing, tranquil home to maintain your security and well-being. Then nurture a family and an environment of stability and love. Now, you've got a big job to do in this lifetime. You're here to be a master communicator to the whole wide world. But you've also got to build up a family and connect with others, blah, blah, blah. So it's about balance, isn't it? So you're not all about just getting out there and communicating to audiences. You need to have a home life too. You need to also not be out there all of the time and have somewhere to come home and rest when you draw your boundaries and that's going to be a stable nurturing tranquil home and family and nurturing that family in that environment of stability and love so sometimes you're going to be out there master communicator ring and other times you're going to be at home and it's important that you're fully present at home with that family in order to recharge your batteries as a master energy your master 11 motivation energy makes you a driven relationship builder. You have a huge desire to build that tranquil, happy and family home. And you really, really love and want long term relationships and long term love in your life, whether it be from a partner or from family or from close friends or all of the above. You're all about developing that family, which again is going to help your path in order to create a stable nurturing home and of course there's going to be because you're here to build that stable nurturing home there will be some difficulties in your way and some challenges to creating that family unit and there are many 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 different ways that that challenge can manifest to get in the way of family building or whatever it is you want to do for your particular family because there's so many ways to build a family you know and your way of building a family is the important way of building a family and if there's any struggles along the way it's just part of your purpose that there are is struggle there so support your life path master 33 6 by learning to create that stable nurturing family home and spending quality time with that family home and the people in it when you are present within. OK, and remember that it might be a bit of a challenge in order to create that family, but keep plugging without judgment, without impatience, because the family will come because it's part of your purpose to do that. And remember, there's many different definitions to the word family. It's not the mummy, daddy, 2.4 children situation anymore. It never was, but society thought it was. There's many, many ways to build a family. You're here to learn to be responsible and do good for those you care for. Like with the double communication, if you communicate something that drives someone to do something bad, then your communication isn't very darn responsible. Because, you know, people naturally put you in positions of responsibility and, you know, your master communication is all about communicating to affect others and you want it to affect others in a responsible manner. And you can often not like being the responsible one, actually. You often resent being um, being thought of as the responsible one. And sometimes you can push away that sense of responsibility, um, which is important that you don't do, because we're all responsible for everything we do. And because you've got such a big um, purpose in this lifetime responsibility is doubly 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 important 
So your Master 11 motivation energy means that you're driven to do positive things for people you care for. You're always driven to create. So it's important that you are directing your intense creative Master energy into responsible action. And you try and do that as a Master 11. Because remember, your heart wants to heal, not hurt. So you can support your life path master 336 by managing your intense master energy into positive, responsible action that really, really cares for others' well-being. And finally, really important, the double three is here to be a creative artist, whether verbal, written or musical or artist or whatever way they do it. They might do it with uh, writing books or creating beautiful sculptures whatever the 33 will do to be creative the six accentuates that because you're here to be creative in the double three and you're also here to develop your your creative artistry in the six now many 33 sixes are musical but some are artistic they have great aesthetic potential or you know they're potters or they're textile people or they they're they're beauticians or or they're you know home designers that kind of aesthetic creativity they're very much 33 sixes are here to be creative artists but they're creative artists so that they can nurture others with their creative artistry it's like a singer nurturing people's emotions with their words and their melody or nurturing others with their playing their musical instruments or nurturing others with their use of color and aesthetics and beauty nurturing the world around us the beauty around us in order to nurture others the master 336 is all about creative artistry whether music or artistic in order to nurture others and this is going to be the world as well so lots of creativity and creative artistry needed in this lifetime as a master 336 your master 11 motive energy motivation energy makes you passionate creative artist which is good it means you're driven to be the creative artist that you're here to be so you may enjoy art performance music whatever your creative passion is and you'll enjoy that as a form of idea and message expression maybe or it might be part of your message expression as a master communicator but you have that potential so support your life path master 336 by confidently communicating and expressing your passionate creative artistry so that you can use your passion and creativity to nurture and inspire and lift up your audience to the rafters and raise the world's vibration now i hope you've liked my video today if you haven't already please like and subscribe if if you want to contact me for a reading then you can email me at katie at soulexplorer.net or contact me on facebook i also want to draw your attention to my uh, podcasts and if you're on the podcast i want you to draw your attention to my youtube videos because i do podcasts as well as youtube videos and you can listen to these recordings on both of them and i also want to make a little note to you about my books so i hope you've enjoyed listening to my video today and just before i go i just want to let you know some exciting news my my beginner book remember your life plan has just been released on amazon and this gives you a basic grounding in numerology it's for beginners and people that are just starting out and it's good for you to read this before you read my other Books. So remember your life plan is a big, for beginners really gives you a grounding in numerology and it's sort of the level where people would do my foundations of numerology, numerology practitioner on Udemy. So that is my first beginner book and it's just for newbies. This one is for people that are more intermediate. It provides a deeper analysis of the lessons and challenges of your life path and birthday energies, a concise list of your priority and secondary 
secondary life path tasks and it gives you a deeper understanding and it's longer and more detailed um, analysis for potential numerology readers and then remember your talents again it's an intermediate level course and it provides an analysis of the lessons of your life path with your talent number with your expression number so it shows how good you're going to be at achieving the lessons of your life path and birthday number again a lesson by lesson comparison of your talents to see how easy or difficult each task in your life purpose will be and again it's longer and more detailed and it's more for numerology readers that have a good grounding and if you have a good grounding you might want to take my master practitioner for readers on numerology if you prefer audio visual or or you'd like to do both remember your motivations is due out soon i'm working frantically to try and get this third intermediate book of the trilogy out there for you and i hope to do that soon so um and don't forget for if you want a reading from me one-to-one -one over zoom just send me an email you might want a one-to-one -one, an ongoing one-to-one -one service in which case you might want to join my channel on youtube and if you live in the uk or you're visiting soon i do shows all over oxfordshire and buckinghamshire and and berkshire sometimes um with dear spirit events so come to one of our events for a personal reading or just say hello and purchase one of my books it's completely up to you so these are my three books and i hope you've enjoyed my video today and get looking on amazon because i tell you what to find them quickly put my name in katie ewers k-a-t-i-e-y-o-u-e-r-s and then my numbers my books my numbers my books come up straight away for you to have a look at so i hope you enjoy my books and i hope you've enjoyed my video today see you soon